Dallas City Council members received two grim presentations on the state of its civilian and uniformed pension systems. The pensions are facing massive shortfalls. The police and fire pension could be short by a billion dollars or more. Fox News' Lori Brown is live with the story. Lori. The Dallas City Council members tasked with making the police and fire pension system solvent said that they regretted that city leaders hadn't come to them with solutions sooner. What did the pension do? The, in these last six years. Dallas Mayor Pro Tem Tanel Atkins expressed frustration that the city has made few changes since lawmakers in Austin worked to bail out the Dallas Police and Fire Pension System. We did know in 2017 that the solution that the legislature adopted was a bridge to, to buy time. The pension executive director Kelly Gottschalk explained the new board has had a lot of work trying to get out of risky investments made under the leadership of former director Richard Tudement. The deals included ultra luxury homes in Hawaii, Aspen and California and the $200 million museum tower in downtown Dallas. Tudement was ousted in 2014. So that's been a drag on our fund. Selling these assets in a responsible way so it's not a fire sale and we're not taking bigger losses than we need to. And, and the board has spent a lot of time doing that. Before drastic cuts to benefits, the fund was in a $5.4 billion shortfall. Benefit cuts reduced that by $1 billion overnight, but a significant liability still exists. The latest numbers will be presented next month. We got to fix this. We're going to make sure that those uniformed officers, when they retire, they got a check in the mail they can cash. In my commitment, we're going to have some kind of plan before the end of the year, before Christmas. We're going to have some kind of plan before the end of the year because six years is too long. Under the current plan, Dallas police and fire retirees are not eligible for a cost of living increase until the year 2073. We should all be shocked. We should all say this is unacceptable, but you've been showing us these numbers. I will say I didn't understand that we could change it before 2025. But certainly we probably should have, and it's very clear to me, and I hope the rest of the committee, that there's a significant change in contribution that has to happen. Dallas CFO Jack Ireland explained why he did not ask Dallas City Council members to make changes sooner. There was a run, if you will, on the bank at a time. I remember that, $600,000, $600 million. And so I think there was a, a need to see how things stabilized. The latest numbers on how big the shortfall is will be released November 9th. It is expected to be in excess of $1 billion. The city will then have to come up with a plan to make the system solvent within 30 years, and that plan will have to be approved by state lawmakers in 2025.